Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Andre Ali, and in today's video I'm going to talk about five everyday lipsticks that are transfer proof. And for each lipstick that I'm going to talk about in today's video, I'm also going to show you a lip liner that goes with that lipstick. I'm going to talk about my favorite formulas as well, and you do not have to use a lip liner. However, I personally love to use a lip liner. I feel like it just frames the lips so much better and it just helps with the application of the lipsticks. The new rules uh, says, at least in France, that you cannot enter in any restaurant, store, any public place without wearing a mask. And now I have to tell you, ever since we've started to wear the mask, it's annoying to see your lipstick printed on that mask and then as you talk you know it could go like all over around your mouth so that's why I thought having these five options of, of lipsticks that are transfer proof might be very helpful for you guys now let me show you my top five everyday transfer proof lipsticks I got you closer so you get to see the application and the color the first color that I'm going to talk about is this Kiko Milano. This is from the Magnetic Attraction Collection. It says liquid lip color in number 02. Every time I wear this color, a lot of people are asking me like, what's on your lips? And then the perfect lip liner for this, Kajer Krier Vice. It looks like this. The color is faded. This is so beautiful on its own. And now the lipstick. This is such a beautiful everyday color. It just lights up your whole face. You could wear it with nothing on your eyes, mascara only, a little bit of eyebrow. You could put this lipstick or any of the lipsticks that I'm going to talk about in this video on the back of your hand, warm it up and then apply it also as a blush if you don't know what lipstick goes with what blush. This is like a general rule. You're trying to match your blush with your lipstick. I think it works great if you have light or fair skin tone, but it goes great if you are more medium or even deep dark. can totally apply this and it will be a much lighter pink on a deep dark skin tone. As you can see it dries matte and it's non-transfer. This is Kiko Milano Magnetic Attraction Liquid Lip Color in 02. Do you absolutely need a lip liner with this lipstick or any other lipsticks that I'm going to talk about in this video? Not necessarily. Why? Because they're not going to migrate in the very fine wrinkles around your lips. The next combo is Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk and Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the color Crush. I gotta tell you something. So I've got so many memories attached to this lipstick. So for those of you who don't know, I came to Paris thanks to Anastasia Beverly Hills. They needed a makeup artist in France and I was one of the four makeup artists that were working for the brand at the end of 2016 when Anastasia came to France. And this lipstick, Crush, was something that we were asked about, I would say, at least 20 times a day. It was always out of stock. At the beginning, when Anastasia came to, to France, there were people that literally bought like 10, 15 lipsticks. That's how crazy everybody was about um, their lipsticks. And even us, we could not wear Crush while we were working because literally everything I was wearing people would be like I want what you have on your lips. So it was not a good scheme if I wanted to sell anything because we were just 
always out of stock. It's that beautiful beigey pink. So it's not too pink, it's not too warm pink, it's like somewhere in between. And I remember the very first video that I've uploaded here on YouTube with myself, I was wearing this lipstick. It was my absolute favorite. I'm starting with the lip liner. Now here's something that I suggest you to do. So the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks are incredibly pigmented. The amount of pigment that these lipsticks have, it's just out of this world. So what I suggest you to do is to apply a very little product and then literally spreading it. You can, you can spread it with your finger. I don't know why I'm using a brush. As you can see, the lipstick is slightly lighter than the lip liner, but I actually think that's a good thing, especially for my skin tone. The lipstick by its own looks beautiful when I wear a self tan. So if my skin is just two tones darker, I feel like this lipstick look, looks beautiful on its own. However, because I am a little bit more pale right now, I feel the need, it's just my preference, to apply a lip liner. I think that these two, they're just great. So this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Crush paired with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. Next is Lip Liner Boldly Bare from MAC and Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color 65 Seductress. It's not the first time I'm using this lipstick. You've seen it before in my videos. And now the lipstick. Oh my god, this is, uh, <laughs> this is my type. This is exactly what I like in terms of color. This is the kind of lipstick I feel the most comfortable with. It doesn't like scream in your face. It's not the first thing that you see. However, there is a color on the lips. It's um, perfect for my light medium skin tone. Uh, as I told you, this is my natural skin color. I have no uh, self tan on right now. And I have to tell you, this lipstick looks good uh, even when I have a self tan. It just looks a little bit lighter in contrast with a darker skin, but it's just as beautiful. And again, this is a formula of lipstick that um, it's super comfortable on the lips. There's not like a film on top of your lips, especially if you apply very little product. In comparison with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's less drying. So this can be a little bit drying on your lips, the Anastasia formula. However, this, the, um, the Maybelline, I personally don't feel like it's drying at all. Beautiful color. If you guys want the same color but not in a liquid lipstick, check out uh, Velvet Teddy from MAC. This is transfer proof, very long lasting. You can eat, you can kiss, you can drink, and the lipstick will stay put. Next combo is Bobbi Brown Lip Liner in Nude and NARS Liquid Lipstick in Somebody to Love. Guys, aren't lip liners from Bobbi Brown one of the best formulas out there? That's that's what I feel. I love it. So creamy. Goes on like whoosh, whoosh. absolutely amazing. Somebody to love, Nars. I thought I thought the one before the NARS was my favorite, but now I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> one thing that I have to mention out of 
all the formulas of liquid lipsticks that I've ever tried, NARS has hands down the best formula in my humble opinion of course it's so incredibly thin it's very similar with the huda beauty actually but not as liquidy there are a lot of colors that i love from nars somebody to love american woman is another great great color as well this color is like sophisticated chic if you are the kind of person that wears a lot of like beige nude cream uh browns and whites and black i think that this is present but discreet just like these colors you know just like these earthy colors and then it has the perfect amount of redness in it that it gives you a little bit of color it's discreet sophisticated chic uh, and very long-lasting and it's the kind of lipstick that you will even forget you have it on your lips that's how uh, lightweight and that's how thin it is on your lips next combo is beautiful for those of you who have a warm undertone who are more on the medium dark deep dark skin tone if you're looking if you're looking for a very natural everyday lipstick and the combo is between mac lip liner in strip down and huda beauty lipstick in girlfriend now i have to tell you uh this is not the regular size of the huda beauty lipstick however uh, a while ago i bought those four lipsticks it was a package of four lipsticks and this color girlfriend it's among my favorites If you're not familiar with the MAC lip liners, they're beautiful, they're very long lasting and the colors are fantastic. Now let's move on with the lipstick. I take the excess off and then I spread. That's a little too much so I'm just going to move on spreading the lipstick with my finger. Alright, this is a very warm combo it's like i said it's perfect if you have a warm undertone if your skin is more on the golden side you will look amazing with this not only as you can see i don't look bad with this color maybe it's not the best for me however i'm not mad at it i think it's still very subtle it's that statement nude kind of a lipstick in general i love huda beauty liquid lipsticks formula and there are a lot of colors to choose from huda beauty so this is huda beauty liquid lipstick and girlfriend paired with the mac lip liner in strip down and that's it the five everyday liquid lipsticks that are transfer proof that you could wear even with a mask or maybe you have other reasons why you want it to be transfer proof you just simply don't want it to transfer hope you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions on lipsticks please put them in the comments down below so we can all see your pics thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye